Mariupol railway bridge bombed by unknown partisan forces. There was a bomb attack at the railway bridge across the Kalchik River in Mariupol at 1 and 40 a.m. on December 23rd, at the 1260 km of the railway leg of the route, which damaged a support structure, said official statement of civil defense headquarters. Earlier, a series of bomb attacks rocked Odessa and Kharkiv. On December 10, a business center housing an organization that provided assistance to the Ukrainian punitive forces was blown up. 13 people were injured in a November bomb attack in a Kharkiv bar, a reputed hangout of Ukrainian nationalists and soccer fans. Ukrainian parliament has voted to drop Ukraine's non-aligned status and work towards NATO membership. In a vote in Ukraine's parliament on Tuesday, MPs overwhelmingly backed the move by 303 to 8. NATO respects Ukraine's decision to abandon its non-aligned status and confirms that Ukraine will be a member of the organization, reports Ukrainian media. We remember Ukraine's Minister of Defense plans to bolster its military by calling up some 50,000 people during a new wave of mobilization. Seems Ukraine needs it to join NATO. Same time, Russian President Vladimir Putin has submitted to the State Duma for ratification the russian abkhazian Agreement on Alliance and Strategic Partnership, the Kremlin official website reported on Tuesday. The document lays the foundation for interstate relations between Russia and Abkhazia. The agreement fully meets Russia's interests. Its ratification will establish solid economic, political and social relations between the Russian Federation and the Republic of Abkhazia, says the Kremlin website. At least 17 and a half thousand people took part in a protest against Islamization in Germany's eastern city of Dresden, according to police. The Monday rally comes at the latest round of demonstration organized by the far-right rising organization Pegida. Thousands gather by Dresden iconic opera house, the Semper Opera, to demand stricter immigration rules. The organizer, patriotic Europeans against the Islamization of the Occident. Pegida's organizer have said that they are standing up against extremism and not against immigrants as such, but the rally have spread concerns over a rising far-right movement in Germany. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.